It's your ASMR friend checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And welcome back to Night City. In today's video, I am going to share my five favorite restaurants. Now, I am not a foodie and I'm not a chef. I don't have any culinary background. These are just personal favorites. Let's get into number five, which is in Kendale Park in Santo Domingo. And that is, of course, Captain Caliente. This spot is the perfect for those late night snack runs. Now it's a weekday night here, so it's not as busy, but you come here on a Friday or Saturday night and it is packed. It's crazy town and with good reason. So let's step inside. Now when you come in, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. It looks just kind of like your typical fast food restaurant, but it feels right. And in a city that's not really known for their cleanliness, I would say, <laughs> politely, this doesn't feel gross. This feels okay. I like this place. So they have many great options. They even have vegan options, but you ask anyone in town what they're known for, and it is, without a doubt, their spicy pizza. Yes. Particularly the spicy nacho beef pizza. Oh, it's so good. It is the best of both worlds. It is everything you want from a nachos on a crispy pizza bread and it is to die for it is so good so good and what's awesome about captain caliente is that they do not have any fountain drinks all of their sodas are served in a glass bottle and that includes mexican coke and if you've ever had Mexican Coke in a bottle, then you know there is nothing like it. It is so good. That, with your spicy pizza, it is a combo made in heaven. So yeah, definitely. It's a good place to check out anytime, but especially, you know, after midnight, bar crawl after the bar, come here, hang out. You will not be disappointed with Captain Caliente. Number four is also in Santo Domingo, located within the Manufactory. It is none other than Mr. Flavor. Mr. Flavor. 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 This spot is really cool, especially during the day, I think. It's a spot with many different vendors. You got a really cool vibe here that you can't really get anywhere else. And Mr. Flavor is kind of like an unassuming spot. You could walk right past it and you wouldn't know that it has some of the best ramen in the city. And that is not an understatement and in a city like night city that's a huge bold statement i would say because ramen is to night city what pizza is to new york that's what they're known for it's what they do and just take a look i mean don't those look absolutely incredible oh just mouthwatering. <laughs> now, for me, I like his spicy miso ramen. Spicy miso ramen. You know, when I grew up, salt and pepper was about 
as spicy as things got for me. But this dish just hits the spot. It is perfect amount of heat, perfect amount of spice. And let me just show you really quick around this place. And you'll see, that, you know, there's more things to occupy your time with. And especially during the day, it's kind of a fun place just to come through. You know, all of these places kind of have you know, a deal of the day kind of thing. Um, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, yeah, I mean, you can get vinyl records here. Now, there's a few spots in Night City where you can get vinyl. And here's one of them. So it's just, you know, it's got a little bit of everything. So, come for Mr. Flavor and stay for, you know, the other options. <laughs> and so that's it for my fourth spot, Mr. Flavor. You can try any of his dishes, but I suggest the spicy miso ramen. Coming in at number three, also in Santo Domingo, Kenmore Diner. Kenmore Diner is located, obviously, in Santo Domingo. It's a more industrial part of Night City. And yes, even though it is under a bridge, it is a really cool spot to come to. So yeah, the noise, especially during rush hour, especially you know after work, those late nights can get a little bit loud, but it's really cool here. There's no place in night city in my opinion like it it's just got such a cool vibe and look at the back here it's got this very cool outdoor patio and especially you know on those summer nights when it's not too cool not too hot this is a really cool spot to come to and hang out and yeah it's got a cool view back here And obviously, Kenmore Diner is known for their burgers, you know. Even their plain Jane burgers are still better than some of the other spots in Night City. But, without a doubt, their staple is the Casper. <laughs> the Casper. And that is a ghost-peppered infused cheeseburger. It's so good. You get that flavor, you get that heat, you know, the ketchup, tomatoes, and the lettuce, and it all feels fresh, and everything goes so well together. It is so good. And I know for people that maybe don't like their stuff hot, the ghost pepper might sound like too much, but really, that heat it brings, it, it's so good. It's so good. I... I can't describe it, you know, you have to try it for yourself. So that is why you have to come down to Kenmore Diner. And look at this, the space is really cool. These booths, it has that retro kind of vibe of a diner. You know, even like over a hundred years ago in like the 1950s diners. It's just, yeah, like I said, it's got a cool vibe. And, you know, you get that. Casper, that heat ghost pepper infused cheeseburger, wash it down with one of their special malts, and yeah, it, it's a combo that can't be beat. So, when you get a chance, get yourself to Kenmore Diner. You will not be disappointed. And coming in at number two brings us to Wellsprings in Haywood, and that is none other than fresh food <laughs> you know it's such a simple name but it's so fitting right by the water you get this fresh clean air which especially in night city just hits your senses like none other and fresh food has really great seafood options i really love their different shrimp varieties you know they have all sorts of things like lobster, crab, all sorts of dishes with that. But, and hopefully this appeases to some of you, my favorite is actually from their vegan menu. 
and that is the crispy tofu in shiitake broth. Whatever they do with that broth, it all just mixes so well. And you wouldn't think, you know, I know people aren't mm, a big fan of tofu. It's flavorless, but when you put it in that broth and everything they put into it, and it lives up to its name, it just feels fresh. You feel good after you eat it. So yeah, fresh food is a really cool spot. I don't even know. It's almost a hidden gem. I feel like it's not as big as it should be because, again, Night City is Ramen City. But to me, that dish stacks up to some of the best ramen in here. And you get this cool vibe when you come in. You can have a cool experience sitting inside or sitting outside. Yeah, you come here the food and the atmosphere and you're gonna have a good time it's gonna show you the best that night city has to offer so i highly recommend fresh water in haywood and coming in at number one in my favorite part of the town japan town yes and especially in the cherry blossom market now you go to this market and anywhere you go, any vendor you stop at, you're going to get a good meal. There's just so much, so much good stuff inside of here. So if you are in Night City right now and you haven't been to the Cherry Blossom Market, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? <laughs> you need to get there. And if you're a tourist, if you are coming to visit Night City... Be sure to put Cherry Blossom Market on your list. It is amazing. Simply amazing. And I know amazing is used a lot, but it is truly amazing. And my favorite spot in here is the Golden Flamingo. Yes, Golden Flamingo. And of course, it's Night City. It's 24 hours. So anytime you want a good meal, you can come to the Cherry Blossom Market, Golden Flamingo, and you are set. And what I love is this walk down into the restaurant. Immediately, you just feel a different vibe go over you. You just feel good when you come here. Now, of course, their ramen is the best. So, so good. But because I think that, you know, I've already said it a few times, Night City is king of ramen. My favorite dish here has become what they call the king tonkatsu. King tonkatsu. And they use a special house-made sauce and I don't know what they put in it but you put it on there and it just blows your mind I've come here before and I've gotten multiple times in one sitting because it just is so good you just want to eat it all the time <laughs> um, so yeah but of course really anything on their menu and oh my god their deep fried coconut ice cream oh, wow it yeah everything on that menu everything on the menu so number one golden flamingo i think any time of day any time you come here you're gonna get a good meal and you come to the cherry blossom market and you're just gonna have a great time so that's it for today that is my five favorite restaurants in Night City. Please let me know if you've ever tried these places, if you intend on trying these places, and of course, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have a good night.